welcome to this service and welcome to the last Sunday of October. We're so excited you guys could join us. We're so excited to start this service. Today we are doing drive through church part two. Yes, so the idea of today's service is that we're going to visit very amazing people and that is our pastors. We were trying to call them executive team, <laughs> but we were told not to. But anyway, we're going to go into their homes and find out, yeah, besides being a pastor, what is it they do on the low key, on the high key. Yes, and you guys are going to go with us. Um, we're already at our first location at Pastor Miruka's house. Uh, we're going to do many things. You guys stay tuned and enjoy the service. Manalo. Tunauza, tunauza. Tunauza, tunauza. Aduzi. Tunauza. Tunauza. Tunauza kuku. Kuku deza kuzia. Utaka kuku. Yes, please. Kienyeji. Sijali. Iyo iko in plenty. Mayai kwa nsa do iko in plenty. Mamu mesikia. We have a plug. Plug right here for you. So guys, we are here with Pastor Miroka. Say hi. What's up? How are you? Fine, thank you. How thank are you? you. Oh, I'm fine. You know, not many people ask me how I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come to your home. Today we're at the farm. Hey. So you make it sound like it's a huge farm, but it's not. It is. It's just my kitchen garden, which is something that. This is a kitchen garden. This is a like kitchen garden. Oh. So for us who have <laughs> compound here from Bele, it's a what? <laughs> Kitchenette garden. <laughs> This is my kitchen garden. Where? This is where uh -huh. I have my veggies, mm -hmm. my uh, cuckoos. Yeah, please. How many veggies here? Mm -hmm. I've, I bought eggplants and lettuce. Ah. Uh, juicy, so I was excited about that. Mm -hmm. so, How long have you been doing this? This, I've been doing it since 2017. Wow. 2017. But I scaled down because of space. I had, mm -hmm. if you came, there were some greens out. Uh, mm -hmm. But I had to slow down. Um, Why? Because of life, because now I am a pastor. Did you, you don't know? Actually, you how are you balancing? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's well. hard. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. Hey. Um, uh, but I thank God because I have um, family, I have mm. um, community around who mm. help me do it. Mm -hmm. um, I farm vegetables, I farm animals. Yes, um, which ones and which ones and which ones? I do, I do chickens mm -hmm. uh, for eggs, I do mm -hmm. dogs, but dogs are not for meat. Or he for farms whatever. dogs for but meat. I, I, I farm <laughs> dogs for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I also farm rabbits. Um, mm. uh, yeah, uh, but this is not my main farm, this is just where I stay. I have, wow. I have a bigger farm where now I, I do quite a lot. Do you enjoy it? Uh, it, it feeds me. So I, I Clearly, do it. I, it does. I, I, I do mean. enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Yeah. Other than being fed uh, by ministry, mm -hmm. I think this is also um, uh, a big thing because it's like works of my hands mm -hmm. that um, feed me. So yeah, mm -hmm. I enjoy. It. Mm -hmm. I enjoy and it. Are you in school? Yes, I'm in school. I'm actually doing uh, my masters in agribusiness management. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pastors in agribusiness management. Okay, again, like I'm a five year old <laughs> and I have no idea <laughs> what so, that is. So, so um, after, after, so I've, I've been in school for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, I did engineering, I wow. went to Bible school, wow. I've done uh, finance. Um, wow, so, so, yeah, so sober. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized that what I do to earn an income, I don't have. Uh, the back knowledge of it mm -hmm. so I decided to enroll um, mm -hmm. last year to, mm -hmm. to do my masters on, on that um, it's been going far my results came yesterday <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got three A's and one B wow Sidiora to EV to an A student <laughs> please please Sidiora to EV hey okay now because this is personal <laughs> to me me who is in school please advise us how do you you balance school you balance work you balance ministry i think i think how do you do it i think it's time we all have 24 hours it's not it's not it's not like i have more hours than, mm. than anyone else mm. um, my hours um is dedicated to quite quite a lot but i think i appreciate that if i properly plan my day plan my week mm. plan my month mm. then i'm more at ease to do as much as as i can possibly do mm. um, including interact with 
humans, so I'm not <laughs> like the only thing I do is sit at farm. Yeah. Um, including go to school, including mm. go to the gym, mm. including. Yes, I was going to ask. <laughs> Some people are well built. <laughs> So, time. so I think it's more of, of time management and it's also honoring to God because mm. for any resource God has given you, he expects you to take good care of it mm. and, and make good use of it. Mm. Um, so it's possible. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think those two hours of Netflix can go somewhere else. You're triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. Yeah. Those one it's hour of being lazy, yeah. doing nothing, yeah. can, can be done on something else. Yeah. So that's, that's how I balance uh, my schedule. Mm. And it works. It does. It I does. mean, the farm has grown, <laughs> ministry is growing. Is growing. You are growing. Yeah, mentally you know. growing. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. So, um, now that you've been talking about ministry and whatnot, and we know this year has been crazy. Yeah. What word do you have? Is it word of the season, word of the day, word of encouragement for people at home? So, I think my word um, comes from Mark chapter 11, verse 23 and 24. Uh, truly, I tell, let me read KJV because that's the, the heavier oh, version. Thou thee, thou is watchest. <laughs> <laughs> For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe, you receive, and you shall have them. Mm -hmm. I say this because this is my word because um during during COVID, there was a lot of negativity. There was a lot of heavy mm. weight, mm. and this word reminded me all through that: watch out what you say, watch out what you you speak of yourself. Mm. Whatsoever you say, you shall receive. Mm. Whatsoever you, if it's a mountain that you want and you call it into, into your space, it will come and it will heavily affect you. Um, when COVID hit, I I my farm because I have another. Uh, farm project i could not as much interact with it because um mm. lockdown mode had happened mm. borders had closed and my my biggest suppliers i could not supply to them because schools had had closed had closed and the market was flooded mm -hmm. and i realized that if i was not careful with what i speak of my myself um i'd have the heavy weight of uh, negativity i'd have the heavy weight of discouragement mm. but what god says is that if you speak light, then light comes. If you mm. speak joy, then joy comes. Mm. If you speak life, then life comes. Mm. And so I, I, I think as an encouragement to self, I, I said, what, whatsoever I speak, I believe I receive and I have. Mm. And so I speak it mm. with light knowing that God is faithful and just to, to because it's his word and his word has said, if I move, if I say this mountain to be moved, he'll move this mountain. Mm. So I have learned to speak such. And always when I speak of, of God's goodness, when I speak of God's blessings, when I speak of God's um, plans and beautiful future that he has for me mm. he is faithful and just to to give them to me yeah yeah and i like how you're saying what i'm getting um is that there's power in the tongue i mean yes. we've heard about it yes. but even now much more that it's being emphasized in scripture yes it's very powerful. there's so much power you've seen my dog have you seen my dog i'll show you my dog so i learned the same thing that we speak to self um, even animals here mm. and it's very foolish when we say that you can tell your dog sit or you can tell your dog go, you can tell <laughs> your dog come and mm. it's it's nothing uh, you feel like it's nothing it's just human talk mm. but I learned that even them it's like what you speak it manifests it's like they agree with you yeah. and they work with you yeah. so I learned it also with life that mm. um, for what God says that what you speak out uh, what you call out mm. also manifests. Yeah. So if if you're not careful with your tongue, mm. um, there's a verse in Matthew that says, "Be wary of idol, idol, idol speech, because that's speech, where you'll, yeah. be, you'll be judged." Mm. And and if you're not wary of what you speak, what you uh, call out, mm. uh, you may say, ah, "Today will be a bad day." Mm. It will be a bad day. You've <laughs> spoken sure. it. You've spoken it into existence. Mm. And and the power of the tongue is that powerful that mm. you should be very careful um, or very rooted in the word that what you speak is 
the word. Mm -hmm. I learned that because um, um, my love language is words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not affirmed, I feel, if, if you give me a slight negative word, I feel heavy hit. Mm -hmm. But if I realize, even for myself, if yeah. I speak such to myself, I'm, I don't feel like I'm loving myself. But mm -hmm. if I affirm myself and I walk in love to myself, mm -hmm. then my speech results to what I produce. My speech results to what I get. My speech results to the blessings that God is faithful to give me. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> and in that same spirit, please, can you bless us as we begin the service? Okay, how do I bless you? Pray for us. <laughs> okay. It's a prayer. I will pray. So our let's I don't know, because I always ask, so do I ask people to close their eyes? Okay, close you. Okay. If I if I open my eyes during prayer, it's something but close your eyes we pray close your eyes we pray let's pray heavenly father we give you praise glory and thanksgiving for you are a good and a faithful father i thank you for this day that we're able to worship you that we're able to listen to your word as uh, the collective goes around our pastors i pray that your precious holy spirit moves in each and every home that we visit i pray that your word is used to minister is used to correct is used to encourage is used to uh make uh, your kingdom shine, make your kingdom rise, make everyone point towards your kingdom because you're a good and a loving father. I thank you for whoever is listening, whoever is watching, whoever is plugged in today. And I pray that this service, this, um, um, what's it called? This service, yes, will be used to your glory and to your honor. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Out. Imagine it's true. Animals are very really responsive. Kapsa. Why don't we respond the same? And we are all animals. <laughs> We finished at Miruka's house. To Mekula. Anyway, we're on to our next location. See you there. See you guys. We have arrived at our second location at Pastor Emily's house. <laughs> Everyone, as you can see, to make up our cage. Oh, we've arrived at our cage's house. Come! <laughs> Hi, <Hank you. laughs> So the reason why I'm not looking here is because I can't see myself. Sorry, that is bad camera etiquette. So please stay tuned to the conversation because our cage's house is so beautiful. She's an interior designer. Among other things, besides being a pastor, she has low-key things, so you guys stay tuned. How do I switch off? <laughs> <It's a good laughs> wow. Can you say cut? We have placards behind the seats mm. to tell you when to cut and when to play. It feels I've come to visit you. How do you feel? I feel so <laughs> special. <laughs> 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 Shut up! Placard! <Blackout. laughs> Okay, I need to the <laughs> I don't think you said No, no. So I feel special. Let me be calm and collect. I feel special <laughs> for being visited. I feel really good. It's good to have people in my house other than my cat. <laughs> Your cat that has run away from us. After yeah, no. someone has Seen harassed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you? How have you been? Uh, a span of what period? <laughs> In this 2020, <laughs> this 2020. Mm. All right, I, I think I've gone through different phases of um, of COVID. <laughs> I have been scared for like two days. I have been a little depressed for like two days, and then I've gone back to being like that <laughs> for like the longest, which is really good. I am 
doing well i can't complain i have been super super blessed in this season uh which is something that is i i think out many people don't expect it here yeah, so it's out of the ordinary mm -hmm. and i'm i'm truly happy mm -hmm. that i've been blessed and you do many things please can you tell us what <laughs> one what? to ten what one to ten i do many do. things <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um my first business my first my first baby is M's Creation, so I do graphic design, printing and branding. Um, the second business is uh, the furnished apartments, so I have a couple of furnished apartments, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. And then I also do interior decoration for people, and I also do management for other people's furnished apartments, so I do four things. I run for business, and then you're a pastor. Then I'm a pastor to put the icing, hmm? the cherry on top. <laughs> Why? A hey. pastor of like, I feel like there's such <laughs> there are like ten people. Okay, no. there are not ten people. A whole of collective, collective worship family. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's not ten people. Yeah. What? Like in my head, I'm just like, what? Pastor title, but on a strain. Who? You know, pastor of by force. <laughs> I accept. No, it's business being with COVID. Uh, different businesses have been different ways. So mm -hmm. the hosting business, has, the furnished apartment business, has actually really done well mm -hmm. in this season, which is again total blessing uh, because now I had guests now in the apartments who stayed because they didn't have a choice because they couldn't ah, leave. Yeah. So they were staying like four mm -hmm. months in like one apartment, another one had four months, and even the ones I managed actually had guests. Oh. So yeah. That mm -hmm. has been a blessing. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are days when there are some that didn't do so well, but mostly all of them did. Like m most of them did very well mm -hmm. in the season. Mm -hmm. M's Creations business, the branding has had been so quiet. My goodness, I was wondering whether my clients have been raptured. <laughs> but <laughs> it had been so quiet because I, I guess companies when there's a crisis the first budget to go is marketing so yeah. people are, no, nobody's doing printing there were no mm -hmm. events so there was mm -hmm. just basically nothing mm -hmm. but because people had stayed home for so long they've started to see their houses don't look as good so <laughs> the interior business was doing well <laughs> so yes so mm -hmm. it's, it's it's it just depends on what business but i thank yeah. god yeah. that in that season i never lacked mm -hmm. i'm saying never because you know like covid is like out. It's out. <laughs> it was like the best of both worlds. Yeah, it was like the best. I got to rest. I got yeah. to spend time with my sisters. Mm. I actually used to go home and come back. <laughs> it's a story of another day. <laughs> but yeah, I got to rest more than any other year I have mm. been in business. Mm. And now I'm very curious mm. to ask them, um, is there something that has been driving you like your word of encouragement throughout the season? Uh, well, I feel like it could be a whole sermon, but mm -hmm. <laughs> no. A word. <laughs> <laughs> Many verses though. <laughs> Ten verses. Yeah. Three verses. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for me the thing that uh, that drives me is to know, especially because I'm in business, and my main thing is that I really want to be prosperous. Mm -hmm. The right way, not mm -hmm. Chiniyamaji. Chiniyamaji. or no, 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 no. <laughs> I really just want to be prosperous. I want to be wealthy. Mm -hmm. I want to be. There's, there's a guest who actually came to my house when I used to ha host with this house. Mm -hmm. I used to live in it and I, st I still used to welcome guests. So there's a guest who challenged me and she told me that one day she prayed that she'd always have like $500 in her bag. Just not money for her lunch, not money for her fuel, mm -hmm. just money that if she finds someone who is in need, that she can bless. And I was like, What? Mm -hmm. uh, not many people pray those prayers. Many yeah. people pray prayers so that they can have money in their, in their account for themselves. For themselves. Yeah. So in this season, I have really uh, just believed that God really wants me to prosper, which is true because the word says that He, he, he takes pleasure in the mm -hmm. prosperity of His servants. Mm -hmm. So I've just believed that, that, mm. you know what, God wants me to prosper and he's working to make me prosper because mm. the word says that he gives us strength and the power to make the wealth Yeah. and it doesn't end there. He says that he, the reason he does that is that he can establish his covenant. Mm. So because he's already made a covenant to bless us when he blessed, when he said he would bless Abraham, 
and in Galatians it says that we were made part of that as a believer you've been made part of that blessing mm. and part of that promise it means that God is working to make sure that he actually um, does what he said he would do because he's a God of his word yeah. so he's every time he's looking he's like eh but he said I'll bless those people yeah. so he actually just does it yeah. and the verse that confirms that for me is uh, first okay let me I am read not me. Let me read it. This is Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty two. And even before I read it, let me just give you like a, a story. Assuming you went to, you are walking on the streets. You didn't have enough money, and then you saw something that you really wanted to buy. It can be a shoe. It can be a duvet. <laughs> Those are the things that you I buy stuff. <laughs> Those are the things I buy most. <laughs> Duvets and bed sheets <laughs> for the apartments. So sometimes you see something really cool and you don't have the money. Mm. So you enter the shop and you ask the person, can I leave a deposit? Mm. I don't know whether that you guys still do that. Mm. We used to do that <laughs> in my age. <laughs> in my day. So can, you, can I leave a deposit? And the person says, yes, you can leave a deposit. Mm. So that when you come with the rest of the money, you can come and buy it. So the deposit acts as a guarantee mm-hmm. to the shop owner to not sell yeah. that item. Yeah. So that when you come with the rest of the money, you come and buy and of course it it is your responsibility as a person who has left the deposit to mark the shop otherwise uh, Mm. you wouldn't know which shop you left the deposit Mm. so this verse actually speaks of that and it says let me let me read it second corinthians chapter 1 verse 22 and it says uh, that the lord set a seal of ownership on us and put his holy spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come so what that means is that God first put a seal on every believer. That every time he looks down, he sees that seal and he says, I owe this person a promise. I said I would protect them. I said I would bless them. I said I would, get, I would guide them. And I mean, these are just part of the prom- promises that are in the word of God. Mm. And the fact that he gave, he gave us the Holy Spirit, the word says that he, he gave us the Holy Spirit and put the Holy Spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. As a matter of fact, I really like the the easy to read version because it says he put his mark on us to show that we are his. Yes, he put the Holy Spirit in our hearts as the first payment that guarantees that which he will give us. And I just have been encouraged by that verse knowing that because God promised to bless me and because God promised to take care of me, because God promised to protect me. That the fact that he's put uh, the Holy Spirit in me and because I'm a believer, he's put a mark. Every time he looks down, he says, I owe that person uh, a blessing. I owe that person um, uh, what, uh, whatever protection. I owe that person this because that is actually his word and he said he would do it and he left the Holy Spirit with us as deposit mm. to show that he will come and do everything else that he's promised to do. So that's mm. for me has been the most encouraging. Sometimes I'm going, where you owe me? <laughs> And you got a deposit <laughs> and it is, I think it's really encouraging to hear mm-hmm. this side of I don't want to say Christianity but yeah because now many people think because mm-hmm. I'm a Christian I should humble myself I shouldn't have nice things but hey we have a God who, <laughs> a father who owns everything yeah, and as his true. children mm-hmm. We deserve, well, not deserve, but it's, the, it's it ours. Takes, it, it, it takes pleasure yeah. in, the, in, the, in the prosperity of his servant. Mm. And as a matter of fact, if you look at, at um, most of the people that God called friends, they were not poor. Mm-mm. Like, God can, you can't experience God and be poor. Aki, I'm sorry, yeah. but it's true. <laughs> it's really there's no, there's no person. Yeah, I mean, they were sheep. Rich. If you hear people loving a thousand sheep, have you seen a thousand sheep collective? Have, have you Those seen are not two sheep. cows walk on Beijing Road? That's like 20. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> now when I'm trying to say, very wealthy. No, and others had thousands and thousands. Mm. But thank you, you look at sharing. all the people what? that God was friends with. Or actually, mm. You can't encounter God and still. Mm. And be poor. Like yeah. I'm talking about possessions. Mm. You can't encounter God and be poor. Mm. So yeah, your story at here, Christians should be poor. You know, no one is scared of you. Who is scared? Who is scared? Who is scared? Hey, but thank you for sharing. You guys, I don't know if you can see the DIY work that Pastor Emily does. She's amazing. Um, Yanni, please, if your house is looking to have contacts, we leave the contacts thank below. You. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you for encouraging people at home. Yeah, it okay. work hard. Pastor Miluka has told us to work hard. Mm-hmm. Now Pastor Emily is telling us to work hard. Guys, if you're not challenged, me, I'm challenged on your behalf, okay? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you too for visiting me.
I feel so honored, really. <laughs> I feel nice. I feel like I am a pastor of a church that visits Look pastors. You are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are. Yeah, and I'm honored mm. to be part of collective worship and to serve mm. in this great initiative. Mm. Really, I'm, I am truly honored. Mm. The driver gets hurt. <laughs> the fact that you are obedient. Thanks for your obedience. What are we saying? You are dismissed. We are finished. We are grateful to my Shiba. To my Shiba. And now we are headed to our next location. We will miss you today. You are not with us. I fine. will miss you guys. Can I come? Yes. Don't you know okay. Pastor Frank? We'll, guys, no, you you want to Pastor Frank? We are going to Pastor Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Pastor Frank will be here. He just likes to eat. Yeah. <laughs> really? We are 20. Yeah, we are going to pass me here for one day. I work. This is how I pay bills, my people. See, we'll work from there. Yeah. We are working from that home, not this home. Okay. But Pastor Frank, you can't work. That's just a hangout event. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye, my friend. Like you are being the right. Then I fall. <laughs> Is a neighbor, that's a reason. Me, me, me. See me, I like it. Aye? <laughs> you, how are you? Okay. Put a last how you are. Thank you, I hope. Thank you. Shanza. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I never thought there would be a time I'll be in front of this camera for collecting in the hood. Mm. Just yeah, be no yeah, copangeng yeah. people were like this week so and so this week. But I just feel like guys, is this how people have been feeling? Yeah. It's pressure. Yeah. It's pressure. pressure. It's pressure. pressure feeling, man. Oh, nice. That's karibu ni karibu sana. Thank you. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Mm, yeah, and welcome to Yeah. You're yeah, humble about it. Very humble. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Mm. I'm good. Um I'm I'm happy. I think I'm 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 good and happy. Mm. Um, it's an interesting place to be because um, I think we are normally used to looking for that one thing that you can say, hey, no, I'm okay. But uh, uh, so I'm I'm really not trying to look for that thing. I feel mm. like um, God has been on an overdrive of taking care of me, especially in this season. Mm. So for me, I'm I'm okay. Mm. And it's good to have you guys, man. Yeah? Feel mm -hmm. very welcome. In fact, yeah. I want us to go to this bookshelf that you have because, mm -hmm. guys, <laughs> Pastor Frank has books <laughs> like this. Let me tell you, I, I mm -hmm. love reading. Clearly, um, <laughs> clearly. I think reading is like an escape. I can show you. Um, not all, all, not all of the books here are my own, but mm -hmm. what do you want me to show you? Like. My the ones you've read this year. Oh man. Um, first, this there's a book here. This book, um, I read this book once every year. <clears throat> Why? Without fail. So this book is written by Eugene Peterson. He's a guy who mm -hmm. wrote the message uh, version of the oh. Bible. If you know me, you know I read an IV and then I read the <laughs> message, then I start preaching. Mm. Uh, but I found it's like um, based on the life of uh, Jeremiah the prophet. Man, this book, every year is like the book that centers me, like, I just fell in love with it, Kabisa. Yeah. so I can't recommend it to people, because I don't know, like, what different people love me, Recommended. but that's my, this is my most favorite, like, mm -hmm. book. Um, book one. Books I've read this year, um, this year, 
I think this is a good book and had people talking about it. It's not it's not about mm. church or you know it's just <laughs> um if you know Malcolm Gladwell, the guy who wrote <laughs> <laughs> me me <laughs> I know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Malcolm Gladwell uh, wrote the, it's called Tipping Point, um, yeah. Outliers, that style of writing where people go and like research and research and do like many different researches and then this is the kind of writing that Adam Grant, um, mm. so this book called The Originals, mm -hmm. um, it's like a compilation of just social um, research and aspects eh. of life, uh, of people who are original like you. Book two. Mm. You That's have to read the book. Simple. Book simple. 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 What's going to happen with Ah. Um, Michelle bio, Obama. Me memoirs. Yeah. Uh -huh. this, is a, this is a wonderful book. When it came out so. first, I was like, ah, Michelle Obama, it's for ladies, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <clears throat> and like, I watched him. Because this year, we're waiting for Obama's book. It's coming out in November. Oh. Yeah. So guys were like, I miss and Obama becoming, I didn't go with that craze. Mm. And then now later on is when um, I got a is copy. It, is it worth the it's, hype? It's worth it. Oh, yeah. It's worth it. I'm mute um, to read this one. Yeah, because me, I love mm. politics. I really love politics. Mm. You know, that's what I studied in, in college. So in another life, you'd have been an MCA? Ah, yeah, but MCA is too rough. <laughs> too rough for me, <laughs> man. Too Wait, rough. Okay, what would you have been? Um, in another two things, mm -hmm. I feel like if I wasn't a pastor, number one, um, I'd be I'd be doing something in the media, either a DJ. You know, I love music. Oh, you can tell you, I love me, I love music. Like, I listen to a song once and I catch the lyrics. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just trying to comprehend, <laughs> Pastor Frank, <laughs> on DJs. the lyrics. Oh, in another life, wow. either a DJ or a mm -hmm. present, radio presenter. Like ah. immediately after high school or college, I actually looked for jobs as hey. a radio presenter. Like oh. I sent my CVs to Capitol, to Hope FM, to all yeah. the stations. I was hey. like, I would really love to be um, a radio show host or wow. a TV show host. I don't know hey. if I have the looks for um, TV. Does he? You know? Um, <clears throat> Good evening, viewers. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? I think he's yeah, made it. Yeah, because you know, when you're, when you're sending those things, like you also have to send like a demo, you know, like oh, something you've recorded, eh. whether it's a video, a mm -hmm. short video, mm -hmm. Nini. So hey. I really like was fascinated with media and talk shows. I even started a talk show when I was in college. It, it was called Inferno. The about University what? of Nairobi. It was about relationships. Oh, hey, boy. like we were annoying people on how to date in college. Well, well. Hey, we had the four one one. In fact, there's a time we did a topic. It was called the ten things men do not know about women. Or something. Oh. Like, I remember. I just remember uh -huh. that the place was packed mm -hmm. because we don't know anything about. <laughs> The okay. need was uh -huh. great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I, so that's the thing. But I, yeah, yeah okay. those are the books. I show you one last one. Yeah. Let me show you one. Ah, yeah. This is a great book. In fact, these two books are here. This is an amazing it's book. Dangerous. I think anybody who wants to start like a business should read this. Mm -hmm. It teaches you resilience. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanna start anything, like teaches you what uh, companies like Uber, Airbnb, oh. um, all these you know startups that we talk about mm -hmm. have gone through, and then mm -hmm. this last one, this is the last book I'm showing you, Creativity Inc. For thinkers, you know people who get lost in thought. Mm -hmm. um, this is written by the guy who uh, started uh, Pizza, the animation oh. company. Is this Buzz Light here? Mm -hmm. Toy Story. Yeah. Toy Story. Oh. This is Toy Story. Um, yeah, so Ed, oh. this is a guy, the president of uh, Disney Animation and Pixar Animation. Wow. Amazing book. What? Gets you to think, mm -hmm. gets you to, you know, get into another world. But, what are you saying? No, 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 we need <coughs> that because now my next question, mm -hmm. guys. I don't know whether this textbook is textbook like here, University of Jaima Liza. <laughs> yeah, and here we are. Five Reading books is awesome, later. Man. I read three books every month. Um, at least three books a month. Yeah, we are sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> like, 
tough man so like, I'm not in a mood to oh, read at least three. three. Yeah, okay. but you didn't tell me and we have shown you the books I'm reading this month. But, but, uh, next time, next time. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Let us welcome ourselves back to the chair, perhaps, <coughs> and you tell us. Now, you have read all these books, mm -hmm. gained all this knowledge, all this wisdom. What word do you have for us okay. for this season? Hmm? After all those books. <laughs> but I've been pretty, man. Finding four. <laughs> I really, I, 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 I love them. I really loved preaching that. You know? mm. um, but the word for this season, I, I don't think I have like a tea by boo. I hope the other pastors you visited have said deep yeah, things. Yes, yeah, I have just, preached just accordingly. <laughs> um, I feel like this season for me has just been a lot about um, trusting God. Mm -hmm. That sounds basic. And it sounds cliche, like, hey, just trust God. Trust, trust God. It's what uh, any good pastor should tell people. Mm. Trust God. But um, <clears throat> a friend of mine and I have this um, illustration that we normally talk about. And it's a way like you have coded language with your pants. Mm. So uh, it's like when you're on a phone call and then you talk and then somebody says something and you just, like, you don't need to explain. So we normally have this phrase that um, we say Gong Hills and somebody just know what exactly that means. Ni brokod. It's brokod. Uh, bro code. Code. <laughs> so your code yang gong hills. Um, why it's been the phrase like I think for this season for me is because if you've climbed have you ever been to Mount Long or not? Mm -mm. Do you like hiking? I wouldn't mind it. I don't think I've ever I think I've done once, but anyway, back to you. <laughs> back to me. I, I love hiking. So, so mm. um, anybody who's climbed Mount Longo, right? you know, like it's just one mountain. Like when you're at the foot of the mountain, you just normally look at it. You're like, okay, that's the mm. top. Mm -hmm. Then you get at the top and you go, you do the round thing. Mm -hmm. But there's something different about Gong Hills. Uh, Gong Hills. When you are at the foot of the first hill, the only thing you normally see is the first hill. Mm -hmm. And then until you climb the first hill and get to the top, then you see the second hill staring at you, <laughs> saying, come baby, come you. <laughs> and then you do the second hill. I think the third hill is normally the steepest. Um, it's cruel. Oh, the yeah? third hill is cruel. Um, <laughs> we are not sharing, guys. <laughs> so yeah, so why that is a word for me for me this season is because I feel like that's what life has been like the past mm -hmm. couple of months mm -hmm. or this year. <clears throat> because it's just been a thing for like you don't see the mountains until you climb the you climb one mountain, you mm -hmm. get to the top. Mm -hmm. And when you're just about to celebrate and you're like, yeah. <laughs> then you just see, okay, that's the next one. Yeah. That's the next thing that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And that has been the thing that we've been, um, my friend and I, we've been reminding each other a lot because life has just been a series of mountains. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're like, um, we get so overwhelmed with the thing for, you're just seeing the, this mountain, you're just seeing this key hill in front of you. But I feel like trusting God has taught me to say, let me just trust God enough to go to the top of this mountain that I can see. Mm. When I'm at the top of this one, I'll be able to see the next one even better. Mm. And then and the third one, then you see the fourth one, mm. and the fifth, and like that, like that. Instead of living life wanting to know everything mm -hmm. from the start to the end, yeah. just, like, just do the hill you can see. Yeah. When you're at the top of that hill, then you'll see the next one. I think mm. it's Psalm chapter 32, verse 8 that says, um, I will instruct you and I will show you the way that you should go. Yeah, so God will show you like when you're at the top of this one, then he'll show you the next one and the next one and the next one so that you take away that pressure from yourself mm -hmm. of wanting to know God, where is this church going to be in the next five years? Where is this life going to be in the next five years? Where mm -hmm. is this, like, where is my life headed mm -hmm. where is this business going to be in the next five years mm -hmm. but then just trusting god to say i've done what i can do today and then i have tomorrow 
yeah. and then the day after yeah. and then the next season mm -hmm. so it's a journey step yeah. by step yeah by step yeah i agree that mm -hmm. it really is a journey and i feel like the more you continue to trust god mm -hmm. the more you allow the relationship to grow like you're, you're not in control and yes god is in control but you're doing it together, doing like, it together. yeah it allows <coughs> the relationship to grow mm -hmm. completely and i feel like if you look at when you look at the story of the children of Israel, I feel like that's the story that models the kind of relationship that God has with us. Mm -hmm. And in this thing called provision for their daily needs, he was like, take the manna that you need mm -hmm. for today. <laughs> yeah. And the guys who try to grab <laughs> more than for the next, like for today and tomorrow and the other day, mm -hmm. they found it like it had rotten by the second day. Mm -hmm. And God was like, no, you only take what you need for today. For yeah. It's just that in this generation, uh, I think we've flipped it, that we want, like, everything. Mm -hmm. Like, we want to know everything. Mm -hmm. We want to know where things are headed. Mm -hmm. But then it's a, it's a lesson just to trust, and that's what I've learned this season. Mm -hmm. Just trust in God mm -hmm. and let Him lead mm -hmm. one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a tagline, guys. Mm -hmm. Trust in God and let Him lead. Thank you for coming to our show. Mm. It's been real. It's been real. We <laughs> should start a podcast. We really should. Mm, we should start a podcast. Collective podcast. Yeah, and then mm. we'll talk about issues of life. Yes. What issues do Relationship. You no, I don't have issues in relationship. <laughs> Topic one. I feel like I've just walked into Is that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We will talk about life. We'll talk about life. Yes. About making money. Okay, oh, yes. Then now we can mm -hmm. host money makers. Yes. Kinawakeji. Kinawakeji. You just visited Wakeji and she's a money maker. So money makers. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you for sharing. Thank you for showing us your books. Hey, me, I'm challenged. Three books. Three books. Are, no, let's start with one. One book. A year. <laughs> I was going to say a month, but. You're giving me grace. Thank the last you. Book you, took. you never even finished. I've not. No, but I. Please, thank you. Today is about you. <laughs> thank you for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> Stay tuned, You're guys. Super welcome. Yes. Glad to have you guys here. Mm. And thank you. You guys do an amazing job, man. You do such an amazing job. Thank you. Yeah, and we've missed people. We can't wait to reopen. Chat, right? Soon, soon, soon. Coming soon. Do you cook? Do I cook? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> that Actually, <laughs> to be honest, I, mm. I really do love cooking. I don't know how to cook many things. Mm -hmm. I chapos zero. Mm -hmm. uh, mandazis, mandazis, I've never understood how mandazis are made ever. <laughs> um, chips, no. No. I, I can't make. No. I can make. I've, I've tried. But uh -huh. I have my signature dishes. I'm not gonna say which ones they are. At least why? Anybody who's been to this house, Tell they us know. Why. Huh? They've been they at home. At least I have. I have some <laughs> signature dishes. Um, one is liver. I oh. make the best liver in Nairobi. In Nairobi? Wow. Yeah. What a broad. I think uh, that's what they do. They do. They do. Yeah. So that's guys, you're gonna yes. get it. it was meant to come. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Edu lives like. But then Edu is my neighbor. Oh um, yeah? Yeah, just down the road. Mm -hmm. So he should be I mean, he was meant to join us, so what's mm -hmm. something familiar? But we have discovered Pastor Frank doesn't know how to cook. Yes? Munakawiya fungua. Sama kenya unataka apa? Fuweni. Serekali misis. You are strewing. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Sure, yeah, sure. I need to sanitize. I need to sanitize. Oh, yes. Hey. Am I the only person in Nairobi also? Wait, hey, that's okay. not for sanitizing. Okay. Sini, nini. Nini. Disinfectant. Can you hear me? Do like this. Spray, spray, spray. Caribou, caribou. I was never doing the time. It took longer one minute. You come back. Your whole tea is on this thing. Hey. Now when you're cooking in Nigeria, you're just like... Your story corrupt, eh? But welcome. 
Thank you. Mimi nataka tu kuchukua maji maze I'm thirsty. Hey, nataka it's night time. No. Welcome guys. No za maji. No za maji. It do is not like. Tell me about the party. Enjoy. Engineer collective. Guy as in he's like he's like he handles everything. Um for for us sometimes we're just like hey the venue edu <laughs> especially this season we've been like uh because our venue the reason we've not reopened the church is because the venue where we meet was also taking time to mm-hmm. they're taking time to reopen mm-hmm. uh because they're also like be mining and they're like hey, uh, you know what's going on uh but you know like even her relationship even me i'm not even at in on there it's edu I do, I do. So it's good to always have him here. It helps that he's my, he's my neighbor. Akiye pa unajua tu kwa ni wapi go like. But yeah, over to you. You guys can talk. What are we making for you? Do you want to talk here with Justin? Upon this, let me be inspired by the smell of the tea. What? Tea ya pasa Frank is like this guy makes tea but in a special way. But see, don't give them the recipe. I'm not going to for another day. But tell them, I was telling Samantha, I'm a good able to tell Samantha what you've eaten in yeah, this house that you're like, yani, they could like to eat kai place. Don't they know Ganya Frank? Skuma za Frank, zile basics. I don't want to have to complex G. Zile metanga Bologna, wame tanga Gaji. Consistency. Ugaya into your team and that's it. Just simple, Ugaya and Skuma. It's collective mesquite. Naliva. Maliva is a... Sasa ni level ingine, si kukotu hapa. Mchele yake. Karibu ila wakati utajisikia unataka kupikiwa na pasta nasema uje and then tutakuandalia hapo I'm out of this cup Mtaandaliwa hey edu tuandalie story hapa sasa kwaje mimi niko poa sana yeah I'm happy to see you guys leo leo mliniruka but it's okay No you guys jumped me literally but it's all right We don't jump here We were waiting best for last <laughs> oh, say the best for us. Mimi who you? I have a question for you. Yes. See, you are in Bible school. What are Bible, still in Bible is, school? Still, still, still is in Bible school. How yeah. is that going? Hey, Bible school is Bible school is pretty interesting. Um I think it's it's <laughs> the time I was talking and I was telling people Bible school is the one place you go. I think for me and you realize that you know nothing about God about the Bible. Yani you think you'll come out there you know like scriptures are here, you know just be quoted scriptures in your sleep. Yani mm. you're sleeping you're like, "Hey, do you what scripture?" Jesus wept. Bible school is the one place that really humbled me. Mm. It was a learning experience that really humbled me. Mm. For me like I I was uh, the youngest in our class. I mean a class where most of the people are really old like people have been in ministry for 20 over 20 years and uh being in such a place really reminded me of 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 the need of continually learning continually always seeking to add to what you know because there's no 100% knowing about the things of God. I think that's one thing we always think about Bible school mm-hmm. that you go to Bible school and that you'll be speaking theories you'll be speaking <laughs> scriptures you know no. every evidence I don't know if you ask sometimes you ask questions like me I'm asking sometimes I don't know and I continue to strive to know God not to know the things but know God I think It's been a very nice humbling experience for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And were you supposed to graduate this year? I remember there was a yeah. conversation about that. Yeah, I was meant yeah. to have finished school school by this year. I was meant to mm-hmm. graduate hopefully in July. Uh mm-hmm. but COVID came. I wasn't able to do my practicals. I wasn't also able to do my uh Wait. project. What do you mean by practicals? To nondoa my paper. To nondoa my paper. But 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 no, my practicals are basically teaching. We have to mm-hmm. go teach a whole semester. Mm-hmm. Uh, at at a bible school oh, yeah okay. so we have to go like a whole semester you teach mm-hmm. you're given a lesson you teach you mm-hmm. give cards mm-hmm. you give exams you uh, assess the students and they assess you back mm-hmm. and you also set exams mm-hmm. give the exams and mark the exam so it's a whole semester of teaching mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. another question Pastor Frank has told us here yeah. the engine of collective. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Hey, jina kubwa. How has it been running collective in the hood, collective what, what behind the scenes? Uh, it's nice. Of course, of course you, you get tired that I would like, but it's a really nice experience. I think mm-hmm. for me it's 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 always about the learning. It's always about what you learn because I think It's it's been those things you do things that like for me I'll be honest being in front of a camera for me is a struggle <laughs> but now when I had to do collective in the hood I had to mm. you know I had to what's the word I, I can use 
I had to step up mm-hmm. and more like step up land because I think sometimes when God calls you, God doesn't call us to say that you know now me I'm I'm this I can't do this. I think for me it's been a learning experience in every single thing I've done mm-hmm. since since God can remember when. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's been it's been amazing. It's mm-hmm. been learning. It's been amazing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to what the future holds. Not the future, yes. Right. Yes. We're about to finish this year. Imagine. Y- imagine. Some some less than I don't know less than forty. No forty. Forty. Hey, for Panda. Where? Fifty. Fifty. <laughs> less than fifty. Okay. Yeah. Let us see fifty. Hey, two months. Yeah. Did you see Kuna see Kuto? Yeah. So much to make out again. Eh. So, eh, as we wrap up the month. Yeah. And even the video, mm-hmm. what has been your word for this season? And word of encouragement to those at home? My word for this season? Hey, do I really have a word for this season? <laughs> a sentence, but... Hey, yeah. yes. <laughs> I think for me it's one scripture. There's a scripture in Job that has really spoken to me in this season. Mm-hmm. And I know that Job is a story we usually look at and say it's a sad story. You know, this guy mm-hmm. was there but God brought him out. But I think for me there's a scripture somewhere in the middle, about middle or towards the end of the book of Job that really is a powerful verse for me. And it's Job 28.28 and if I can remember it well, it says that uh, to fear the Lord is understanding. Ah, to fear the Lord is wisdom. Yeah, to fear the Lord that is wisdom. And to shun evil that is understanding. Mm-hmm. And for me why, why it came, it came really strongly for me in this one because I, as I had shared, I was about to finish Bible school and I had anticipated, um, you know, clearing everything, knowing that by the end of this year, you know, we set, as humans, we set goals, but knowing that I'll still have to go back to school, I'll still have to do things and finish up, I really felt that, um, um, I, I, there's a lot that we learn and our learning is purely based on how we know God and how we understand God and our reverence for God. Because when he talks about fear, it's not the kind of fear that in primary school you used to hear a teacher come in and you, you know, you're already seated, you're already reading books upside down, you know, because you're scared. <laughs> but it's a kind of fear that calls us to look at God and to respect God with everything we have. And from that we can gain things, we can gain understanding, we can gain um, knowledge about the very many things God wants us to learn. And it's, for me, it's, it's, it's been a reminder that as much as I'm, I'm about to finish Bible school, as much as I was meant to finish Bible school but I did not finish, mm-hmm. uh, things like knowing and things like growing in my understanding of God and understanding the things around me will come because of how I relate to God. Mm-hmm. And so it's been a constant reminder that I may read so many books, it's good to read books, it's good for me to know many things, but bottom of it all I need to relate with God and I need to have a reverence of God mm. that is key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what to add from <laughs> I've seen such deep things. This is the product of going to Bible school. <laughs> Thank you for sharing though. Although, it's George it's George <laughs> I have one final question because I'd like you to pray for us as we finish the video. Okay. One final question. Please do ask. Now Pastor America has told us he farms. Yes. Wakeji has told us she's in business. Yes. Pastor Frank reads. <laughs> hey, okay. There's a farmer. There's, there's a farmer. There's a business woman. Business woman. There's a reader. Uh huh. Can you call him a reader? You, you uh-huh. what are you? Me. Hey, what am I? Hmm. Hey, what pressure. Enjoy? <laughs> what pressure. You like? I think there are two things I really, really enjoy. I think number one is I love, I love, I love history and I love knowing various things about African cultures. I think if you know me and you see the things I usually like sharing a lot is regards to you know Africa and knowing Africa because I believe Africa is a very beautiful continent. Okay. But we we rarely take time to realize that beauty mm. from the south to the north, from the east to the west. You know, mm. from the different cultures we have, uh, the different influences we have a lot mm. as Africans. And I do believe sometimes we don't know that. So I usually, in my free time, I usually enjoy reading a lot of history, uh, watching a lot of documentaries. Mm. Uh, getting to learn and add, 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 you know, add value in being African and knowing that me being African is not something to be shameful about, and uh, I should be proud of it and I should be able to support the things that come out of Africa. Mm. Yeah, so there's that and there's also <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from loving history, I'm also I love sports and more so I love rugby. By the way, Yani, eh, if if it wasn't for my small body. 
small. Believe you me, I am about 75 to 80 kgs. And the people like the who play where I would play are about 100 and okay. Okay. their kgs. So, <laughs> not like overnight. And it takes time. It yeah. takes time. So I, I love I love I love I love rugby as a sport and for me I think last year was my highlight of being a rugby fan because but I think kuna this thing I usually do every time. I mean supporting the teams for World Cup. Equal football world cup, whatever. You usually support a team at the beginning, then you have to change, then you have to change, then you have to change. So by the time you're reaching finals, you've supported like ten teams which you did not purpose to support. Mm. You know. So for me I think last year as a rugby fan was my highlight, man. Hey, uh, you know, because my team won the World Cup and I supported my team from the beginning to the end. Like I didn't shift and I'm always supporting that team. Mm. So what team? it's South Africa, the Springboks. So I was really and if you know me, Yani Akina Fan Kwana Juanga. That's my time, Yani you know, so that's the thing I have to do what I have to do. Uh, so yeah, yeah. And my dream is to attend a World Cup. Hopefully wow. in twenty twenty three. Yeah, it will be in France. So my Kabisa, my mm-hmm. desire to go. Where we are we the Yako? Wow, honeymoon. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> that one is separate. Hey, you know, you can get steps in there. You know, when you're done, you can't do it like you imagine. So yeah, I think those are the things I enjoy: <laughs> history and mm. and 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 rugby. Mm. Um, away from 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 what I'm doing, because. In school, my, my the option I'm studying is Christian education and spiritual formation, mm-hmm. which is simply how we can understand Christianity. So sometimes we know when with all that books, with all those books, sorry, with all those books, with all those readings, sometimes you need a, some something to remind you of. You know, you need to run, you need to play, mm-hmm. you need to laugh, yeah. you know, you need to cry, you need to everything that happens. So that's that's pretty much me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming over. Karibu. Chai is almost ready. So as, as it's boiling. <laughs> so you But then you guys should see. You see. We're brewing it. 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 By Chef Frank. <laughs> so now By Chef Frank. 30 minutes we're just going to let it do that. But we need 20 minutes. If you talk about chai in a bangi. We are wrapping up this video. We need to pray, please, <laughs> as the child is doing this. <laughs> yes, please. What does this mean? Since you are a chef, I'm going to be a chef. It's doing this. <laughs> Chai doesn't see my okay. Mm. Okay, so uh, I'm praying. Yes. Oh, pray oh. for us. Okay, I'm pray. Be led. However, I'll be led. So, <laughs> hey, that's a hard one. I'm not for now. Ah, let's believe and pray. Our Father Lord, we want to thank you for this time we've had. Thank you for the people we've met here and for the people who are catching us at home. I do pray, O oh God Almighty, that you will guide them, that you lead them, that you will protect them, King of Kings, Jehovah. And I pray that you will continue to guide us in this season, protect us and keep us safe. Not only us, but even our families, even our friends. And uh, whatever we may be going through in such a season, whatever tasks we may have to do, may you lead us, may you guide us, may you walk with us, King of Kings, all through. And we pray that you continue to be Lord of our lives and allow us, Lord, and lead us to worship you and to do everything in accordance with your will. And for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. I think you should wrap up the, the month and mm-hmm. welcome us into the new month. The new month, um, that's November. Yes. Hey, Merry Christmas, my people. Ah, yeah. I hope I'm the first yes. person to wish you Christmas. <laughs> Maybe hey, soon enough you start seeing malls, yeah, they're putting yeah, up Christmas lights. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not late. I'm not late. But 2020 is that year where you're like, I Christmas is because it feels like we've been home all through. Like even 20th of December, like mm-hmm. I mean of, of October, I didn't even realize it was a holy oh, day. Yeah. Yeah. It's like ah, yeah. the Kitambo we used to wait for the holy day, yeah, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> ah, 2020 we've been home a mm-hmm. lot, so but yeah, yeah. so. November. November here we come. So um, it's been an amazing month with the crew again getting to visit various people, getting to hear uh, the various stories and uh, my hope and prayers that you've been impacted. As much as we've laughed, as much as we've done puppies, <laughs> pet, pet dogs, pet dogs, sorry. She's actually a big dog lover but I hope that you've been impacted. And as we look to a new month, my hope and prayers that um, you will be blessed with what you'll be uh, getting to learn and getting to share from the Word of God, which is actually based on salvation. Salvation is like the most important thing in our Christian faith. 
and uh, many people talk about salvation many people say many things about salvation but we want to take some some time in the next month and actually ask ourselves what is salvation and what does that, does that mean for me and for you and what are we saved from there are so many questions in regards to salvation which will take time to look at uh from the word of god so may join us uh make sure you continue uh you know watching our videos uh every sunday at 5 p.m and yeah uh, we'll continue to be blessed together and grow together as we await for the future and for the things that the future holds for us so guys see you then and enjoy your new month and like share subscribe follow us on our social media platforms and join us on whatsapp and we'll see you in november bye we love you guys Chai, <laughs>